Hello students, welcome back to the fourth video of this playlist. So in this video, uh, we will be solving question number four from the most recent past paper of Pure Mathematics 4, which is October 2024 P4 paper. So let's see uh, what's the question number four from this paper is about. So this is question number four. So basically, the concepts behind this question is from uh, implicit differentiation. Uh, like we need to have idea about implicit differentiation in order to solve this question. And yeah, so the concepts of implicit differentiation, it has been discussed in chapter number five of your Pure Mathematics 4 textbook. So let's get started with the fourth question of October 2024. P4 paper. Right at the beginning, you can see a figure, uh, figure 2, which is showing a sketch of an implicit curve. So, figure 2 shows a sketch of the curve C with equation 3x squared plus 2y squared negative 4xy plus 8 to the power x negative 11 equals to 0. Okay, fine. This is an implicit equation. The point P has coordinates 1 x coordinate 1 y coordinate 2 you can see point p on the figure 2 fine so part a is asking here to verify that p lies on the curve c okay how can we verify it so we know the x coordinate and the y coordinate of point p so we will just substitute it in the left hand side of the curves equation okay so x equals to what? 1, y equals to 2. Okay, then consider left hand side. What you will get? Left hand side. Uh, 3x squared is what? 3 times 1 and then uh, plus 2y squared plus 2 times 4. Next is what? Negative 4xy. So negative 4 times 1 times y is what? 2. And then 8 to the power x. So 8 to the power x is just 8 and at last it is what? Negative 11. Let's see whether it gives what? Uh, 0 or not. So you'll get 3 plus 8 minus 8 plus 8 minus 11. So 8, 8 cancels out. 8 plus 3 is 11. So 11 minus 11 is 0 which is equals to right hand side. Hence what we can say hence p lies on the curve what c that's it and that's what exactly uh, part a has asked for fine next is part b in part b the question is asking to find dy over dx in terms of x and y so that means we need to find out the derivative of this implicit curve. Okay, so this is, this is what implicit differentiation method. Okay, so okay, let me write the whole equation at first for the ease of what uh, calculation. Three x squared plus two y squared. So three x squared plus two y squared, and then negative four x y, negative four x y minus 12 okay minus 11 plus 8 to the power x okay plus 8 to the power x minus 11 this is equals to what zero okay so we need to use implicit differentiation okay using what implicit differentiation method okay okay Implicit differentiation, that means uh, we use implicit differentiation in case in case of the equations which have what? Both x and y in their equation. Okay. So, here, basically in general differentiation, generally the differentiation process that we follow, we have, we keep x, the terms with x on one side and the terms with y on the other side. And then we do the differentiation by keeping y the subject. But here it is implicit equation. So here 
it's impossible to make y the subject and represent it in the form of y equals to f of x so that's why implicit differentiation have to be done okay so in implicit differentiation the process is as like as exactly the general rule of differentiation but in in case of differentiating the terms with y we have to do some extra works okay so at first differentiating 3x squared that would give you 6x isn't it then plus a term with y 2y squared so 2y squared we will differentiate it using the general rule of differentiation power is 2 so multiplied by 2 so power multiplied the coefficient which will give you 4 y then from the power we subtract 1 fine extra work is that after differentiating the terms with y it will just multiply dy over dx with it that's the rule that's it okay so negative 4 times what you got x also y so two different terms in multiplication that means we need to use the product rule in order to differentiate this so consider u equals to x and v equals to what y so du over dx equals to what 1 and dv over dy no dv over dx because in product rule we always differentiate the u and v with respect to x so fine that's fine we are differentiating with respect to x but y will get differentiating y will get differentiated as like as the general rule of differentiation 1 but just you need to multiply r dy over dx with it that's it now product, product rule u into dv over dx plus v into du over dx u into dv over dx is what x times dy over dx okay not bracket plus what v times du over dx so this is just y so derivative of negative okay de derivative of 8 to the power x we got 8 to the power x there so derivative of 8 to the power x is what we know the derivative of the term y equals to a to the power x is what dy over dx is a to the power x ln a isn't it so it will be plus 8 to the power x ln a this is equals to 0 fine okay now what we will do uh, multiply out the bracket 6x plus 4y over okay 4y not 4y over 4y times dy over dx keep it separate negative 4x dy over dx okay and then what negative 4y plus 8 to the power x ln not a it should be ln 8 ln 8 okay this is equals to 0 now we need the equation for dy over dx okay so make dy over take dy over dx common from this term and the that term okay so you'll get 4y minus 4x it is equal to and the rest of the terms take them to the right hand side okay so you will get 4y okay you'll get 4y then minus 6x minus 8 to the power x ln what 8 fine now we need dy over dx so dy over dx equals to what 4y negative 6x negative 8 to the power x ln 8 divide what uh, 4y minus 4x and that's exactly the derivative of the of the uh, implicit curve c in terms of x and y and that's what exactly part b of question number five has asked for okay next is part c in part c uh, they are saying the normal to the curve c at p crosses the x axis at a point q okay the normal to the curve c at the point p it is crossing the x axis at the point q fine so part c is asking to find the x coordinate of point q giving your answer in the form a plus b ln 8 where a and b are integers fine so we need to find out the x coordinate of point what q okay 
so point at point q the normal to the curve c at point p it passes through so we know the derivative of the curve c right so from that we can find out the gradient of of a tangent to the curve at point p and using that gradient we can figure out the gradient of the normal right okay that's what we will do here so we know the coordinates of point p which is 1 to x coordinate 1 y coordinate what 2 okay so at p x coordinate 1 y coordinate 2 dy the gradient of the curve would be what uh, 4 times 2 that there is 8 minus 6 minus uh, 8 to the power x there is 8 ln 8 divide what uh, 4 times 2 that is 8 minus 4 okay so dy over dx at point p it is what 8 minus 6 is 2 minus 8 ln 8 divide 8 minus 4 is what 4 so uh, what you will get uh, 1 minus uh, if you divide okay divide by 2 the numerator and the, and the, and the denominator you will get 4 ln 8 over what 2 right it will be 2 okay now uh, what we can do next we got the derivative dy over dx that is the gradient of the curve c at the point p so since it's normal so normal will have gradient what negative reciprocal there is negative 2 divide 1 minus 4 ln 8 fine okay and we know the coordinates of point p so now we can figure out the gradient we can figure out the equation of the what normal at point p to the curve c okay so this is y minus what's the y coordinate of point p y minus 2 equals to m m is negative 2 over uh, 1 minus 4 ln 8 times what x minus x1 which is x minus x coordinate of point p okay so what we can do next is that okay hold on we need the coordinates of point q isn't it so at point q it is intersecting the x axis so at point q what would be the y value since it is intersecting the x axis so at q the value for y would be 0 okay so if you put 0 in this equation what you will get uh, you will get negative 2 so what what we can write negative 2 equals to what a uh, negative 2 over 1 minus 4 ln 8 times what x minus 1 so we need to find out the x coordinate there isn't it so you got two negative two here you will get negative two here so they cancel out then cross multiply take one minus four ln eight to the left by cross multiplication so one minus four ln eight okay this is equals what x minus one so from there make x the subject if you make x the subject it is negative one if you take it to the left it will become positive one so one plus one that is two two minus 4 ln 8, right? ln 8 can be written as 8 can be written as 2 cube. So 2 cube is 8. So po using power rule, take 3 to the what coefficient? You will get what 4 times 3, which is 2 minus 12 ln 2. Fine. And they wanted in the form a plus b ln 2. So a is what? a is 2 and b is 12 a is what 2 b is 12 and that's what exactly part c of question number 4 has asked for fine 